So this is the chair that I usually sit in. This is a box. I'm currently sitting on the ground, and I'm doing so to teach you a game called Hog. So Hog is a game played with dice, where two players are each trying to reach a goal score, usually 100, first. On your turn, you get to choose a number of dice that you want to roll, up to 10. And then you roll them, and two things can happen. You roll your dice, if there's any of them that comes up one, you get one point for the turn. Otherwise, you get the sum of however many dice you roll. So here, I have a bunch of dice. And let's say it's my turn. I start out with zero points. I'm going to take four dice, and I'm going to roll them. OK. On my turn, I got five and five, and three and four is 17 total points. So now I'd have 17, and then it'll be your turn. And you might think, oh, I'm really losing by a lot because I have zero, and John has 17, so I better roll more dice. I'll pick uh, seven dice. OK, what happened? Well, in those seven dice, it would be nice if I could get the total points, which is 7, 11, 12, 13, and another 7 is 20, except that I rolled a 1. And that means that for the whole turn, I get only one point. So after that, player 0 would have scored 17 points on that first roll. Player 1 would have scored only one point. And then it would switch back to the other player. Whoever gets to 100 first wins. So let's talk about the project. You're going to implement this game, but an electronic version. Project description tells you all about the rules of the game, including some additional rules that I haven't described to you, but you can read about them. All the files that you're going to use for hog.py contains your implementation. And we've started some of that implementation for you already. When you are done, what do you get? Well, once you've filled in hog.py, you can do various things. You can do things like roll the dice. And you can say how many dice you want to roll and what kind of dice you want to roll. And it will tell you how many points you get. So if I roll five dice, maybe I only got one point that time, that time, and that time, but then that time, I got 18 points. That time I got 23 points. Excellent. Uh, the first half of the project is so that you can play the game. Once you're done, you can play an interactive version by running the file hog GUI, where GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. It opens up a window that looks like this, where you type in the number of dice you want to roll, and not only does it tell you that you got only one point, it shows you the outcome of the die. OK, so player zero got only one point. Player one's feeling really ambitious and rolls seven dice, all of which came up non-ones, so got 21 points. And player zero, feeling bad, rolls only two to start to catch up. OK, so that's the game of hog. Goes back and forth until somebody reaches 100 points. So what else is good to know about the project? Well, there are some directions about how to run automatic tests. I'll leave those to you. But you should also know that you can interact with the files you create directly. So if I type this, I can call roll dice like you saw. I can also call other functions. Like at the very end, I create something called a final strategy. And if I want to know what my final strategy does when I have 50 points and my opponent has only 30 points, I call it and it tells me, oh, I'm going to roll five dice. So this teaches you something about what a strategy is. A strategy is a function that takes in the current player's score and the opponent's score and returns how many dice the final strategy wants to roll. Strategies are critical elements of this game because they describe how a player will play. And all the strategies in this project are fixed or deterministic meaning the strategy is going to do the same thing every time the same score is on the board. So every time we reach a point where 
I have 50, and my opponent has 30. This strategy is going to do the same thing. Roll five dice. That's what a strategy is. The second half of the project is about understanding which strategies work well. And for that, you're going to have to roll a lot of dice. Now, instead of just typing roll dice over and over again, and trying to figure out whether this is a good idea or a bad idea, you're going to create a way to roll the dice many, many times in a row and see what the outcome is on average. And you'll do that with a function that you'll implement called make average, which takes in another function, in this case roll dice, and creates an averaged version of it, which you can then call just like you would call the original one. But it rolls it over and over and over and over again and gives you the average score. So the average of many rolls is 8, because sometimes you get things like 19 and sometimes you th get things like 1. So there's huge variance in rolling a single time, five dice. But if you run make averaged over and over again, you'll see that you get average scores for the turn that are all about the same. You can use this analysis tool to figure out how many dice to roll and also which strategies are better than others. I'll let you work on the project to discover that for yourself.